Quarter to eight. Hey, Sunny. Hi. So Justin Bieber caused major outrage on Twitter earlier this month. I don't know if you saw this photo, but when he tweeted a photo of himself with the Stanley Cup, Ooh, he standing on the logo. I didn't know this was such a big no-no, but oh, it it's outraged. NHL fans and uh, they had to go at him online, but now there's an alliance that's <laughs> formed to get internet revenge on the Beebs. Three fans brought a cutout of the pop star's face to the annual fan convention this weekend and invited others to stand on it while taking payback photos. And they even created a Twitter account, it's called at Stand on Bieber, to rally around the movement and it already has 1900 followers. So I don't know if the Biebs really cares at the end of the day, but it's pretty funny. You know, it's so funny because whatever Bieber does, people are going to take shots at him. A representative from the Chicago Blackhawks said he wasn't standing on the logo for so long. He stepped in to get a photo of the cup, and that's when he got busted. And he probably just didn't know. Uh, yeah, well, hey, he knows now, and oh, millions yeah. of people know now yes, thanks to his well lesson. well aware. We'll yeah. be making that mistake again. And also, a 24-year-old food truck employee caused quite the stir on social media when he aired a grievance um, tweet about one of his customers. So Brendan O'Connor tweeted, shout out to the good people of Glass, Lewis & Co for placing a $170 order and not leaving a tip. And then he tagged the company's handle, which is probably a little bit of a mistake. Uh, Glass, Lewis & Co is a Wall Street company and they then notified Brendan's employer, the milk truck, about the tweet and ultimately the company apologized and fired Brendan. So this caused uproar on social media. People were talking about tip shaming in general. Tip shaming. Tip shaming, okay. that's what apparently it's it's known as. Right. Um, and if you think that you're gonna get away with a bad tip, you're not. There's a new blog and it's called tipshaming.tumblr.com and uh, it basically shames people who leave bad tips. So you might wanna be aware of that the next time you think about leaving a 5% tip. Where was that Tumblr blog back in 2000 when I was bartending at Earl's and the guy <laughs> left a sad face on his visa receipt with a zero tip. I still remember you. Former Earl's employee, me too, and <laughs> yeah. I had plenty of those moments as well, so I can relate. And on that note, if you're in the customer service industry and you feel like you're a little underappreciated, well, there's a new viral video that's proving it just gets worse. A woman once told me that I looked like a bald or less attractive version of Ryan Reynolds, and uh, she didn't buy anything. She just left the store. Do you still think people are inherently good? Do you still have some shred of hope for humanity? Do you still not wish for all humankind to be swallowed into the pits of hell where it belongs? Then you just haven't been doing this long enough. I once had a woman ride in her car with me as I valeted it because, quote, it was too nice to let some punk mess it up. It was a Miata. Have you started sneaking a flask into work or... So this video has received over 100,000 views in just 24 hours as it takes a look at the sometimes harsh reality of working in the customer service industry. And it spurred a Twitter therapy session with thousands of people using the hashtag it gets worse to share their own customer service stories. Pretty awesome. I love this. <laughs> you might have the best job in the building. You're doing a great job at it. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. very much, Sunny. We'll be back with more after this, including entertainment news and unexpected pregnancy. And then we'll check back in with Bridget Ryan behind the scenes at the Alberta Aviation Museum.